let's go. You get crazy, Connor, today. Why? Because I am so excited. Why am I so excited? One, because this is not clickbait. Zero clickbait. Trust me, watch the video. What's up, guys? Derek, moreplaysmoredays.com. Today, we're going to be talking about how Connor Murphy increased, I'm going to say, I'm just going to say D for you know what, because YouTube is very sensitive with their algorithms, apparently. So we're not going to say the big bad word. We're just going to say D. We're just going to say D. So anyways, Connor, this is actually my favorite video I've seen <laughs> ever of Connor's. He gets hype as fuck and he talks about how he increases his D by one and a half inches. Whoa, let's go. You get crazy, Connor, today. Why? Because I am so excited. Why am I so excited? One, because this is not clickbait. Zero clickbait. Trust me, watch the video. Just watch the video. It is real. I'm going to show you guys science. I'm actually going to show you guys science. It's the first time I'm actually going to link some scientific journals. This is 100% true. Okay, so <laughs> already... To me, this is fucking hilarious, to be honest. But And the like to dislike ratio, I, I don't know why it's so skewed. And, well, like, I don't know, maybe it's just like the pattern of his videos over the past while and people are just not happy with his general content lately. But um, anyway, I'm going to let him continue. He links some scientific journals in the video description to kind of back what he's saying, but I'm going to let him continue before I kind of interject. I was terrified to talk to you about this because I thought that I would be less of a man if I tried to do this thing, right? But no, I am operating out of pure love now. I am only telling you this to help you. Now a lot of you are thinking, Connor, you're enlightened, why does it matter? If you're so enlightened, if you're free from all these insecurities, why does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> the face palm just fucking kills me. Yeah, so he's kind of, he's dragging this out. Like he kind of, I think maybe that's why there's so many dislikes. He needs to get to the fucking point, but, um, yeah, continue from here. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, he just has a bunch of ego. He's bragging. He has a giant thing now. It's giant. It's massive. He just wants to brag about it. Okay, let's get that out of the way right now. I'm not going to tell you how big it is. Uh, Actually, I, I will tell you how big it is. Okay, guess what? It was two inches. I grew it by 1.5 inches. It's 3.5 inches now. Whoa, Connor's bragging. Whoa. No. I am doing this. Oh man, this is fucking amazing. Uh, continue, hang on. To help you. Okay? Okay, gets to the point. This is hilarious though. This is my favorite video I've ever fucking seen of this. Well, I guess it's time to tell you what it is. Let's tell you what it is. Okay, this is going to be incredible because so many people have no idea this exists. I've talked to so many of my friends they had no idea this exists. I tell them about this, they hop on it right away. Right away, almost everyone I've told about this has hopped on it, they bought it that day, okay? I've got all my friends doing this. It is incredible, it is absolutely incredible. What it is, it's called a, drum roll please, blank, can't say the word, family friendly, traction device. This is what it is, okay? Now, this is the one that's been scientifically studied. Okay, and by the way, the links to the scientific studies are in the description. This has been shown to increase length in multiple studies. Okay, and it is shown to be safe. Now this is the one that I've been using more recently. By the way, I don't use this anymore. Okay, I have gotten to where I wanna be. The 3.5 inches, I wanna be that, I wanna be that. So this is the one that I have used more recently because this one is more comfortable and I can wear it for longer, okay? So how does this work? Just by looking at these things, you could probably guess how they work. It stretches it. It's that simple. What happens when you stretch human tissue? So a lot of people are probably thinking at this point that this is <laughs> complete bullshit and like obviously the like to dislike ratio is not taking it very seriously and I don't know if it's just because all of his videos up to now have been just you know, way out there. And now that he's talking about this, no one's even considering the fact that it could be realistic at all, but he's actually onto something. And we're gonna, I'm gonna interject after with more detail, but 
I'll let him explain because it's way more entertaining than how I can explain it to be honest. The human tissue goes through mitosis. It creates more cells. Don't believe me? Yes you do, you know this is true. Look at this lady. The same thing happened to her neck. She gradually increased the tension in her neck over time. You think this isn't real? No, you know this is real. Look at this. Look at this ear. They put this weird earring in their ear. Not judging, it's cool. Express yourself how you want. They put this earring in their ear and it stretched out their ear for months and months, probably years. The cells of the earlobe went through mitosis. It increased the tissue, the amount of the tissue. This happens in all tissue. This can happen in literally all tissue. This is just an amazing truth of the human body. So why can't it happen down here? It can, it can happen down there. Don't you get it? <laughs> this is honestly golden fucking material. There's nothing stopping you from growing it. You just have to have the right device under enough time. If it is under tension for enough time, it will grow. It's that simple. Science has showed that this works. They have done actual studies on actual humans and this works. Yes, it takes work. It takes time, but think of it like bodybuilding. It takes time to build a great body. This is another part of the body you can build. So how long does it take? Well, I've used this thing over the past five years. I've quit recently. I am actually content, right? Through this whole spiritual process, I've actually been become truly content. I really have no insecurities, so I did stop, right? Now, how long have I used this thing? Five years, over the past five years, I, on and off. So total is about three years. And I probably average from about zero to two hours every day. And estimation wise, probably about 1500 hours. If you look on forums, you'll see that you can gain an inch about every thousand hours that you wear this thing, if you're using it correctly, if you're using it well, if there's quite a bit of tension. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, so now I, I'm gonna talk about my experience with this exact topic. So if you guys have seen uh, some of my, here and there I've sort of put in some of like the pickup artist videos into some of my recent content and discussed my history with getting into overhauling myself self-improvement wise when I was uh, in my late teens and going into my early 20s and I just I just went ham. Like all I was doing was focusing on bodybuilding and getting chicks and doing whatever I possibly could to maximize myself. And back then, I don't know why it's so obscure now, but this was actually pretty commonplace, at least in the obscure, weird realms of the internet that I was in, I guess. Like people who are doing hardcore self-improvement, it's called PE and it stands for you know what? Enhancement, PE. And there are forums that are dedicated to this and it's very possible. Like there are guys who have dedicated a ton of time to it and have gotten upwards of two to three inches in gain. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Connor's actually, this is the, like the last two videos I've done where I reviewed his stuff. Anything that I don't feel is backed by science or even in practical application that I've experimented with myself that he commented on, I debunked it because frankly, it was garbage. And that's, you know, where I came from when I made those posts on those topics. But he's spot on with this. He sounds like in, kind of insane in this video, but it's really fucking entertaining to be honest. And, but he's spot on, on exactly how it does it. And back in the day, this was actually a very common, you know, self-improvement technique. And um, I don't know, it just got like buried or maybe it just wasn't YouTube friendly so nobody talked about it. And it seems kind of nuts to me that some like the biggest men's self-improvement channels, they literally post on how to improve, like increase the size of your package. And it's like people who have 5 million plus subscribers or have massive channels. And it's just like, no one knows about this shit for some reason. I don't know why it just got like buried over the years. And even the most high profile people who talk about male self-improvement 
have no fucking clue. I know that a lot of men are concerned about the size of their penis. And so today, I thought I would go over five tricks to make it look mas grande. So here, Alpha M, who is one of the, the premier, if not the premier self-improvement channel for men, goes over five tips to make your package look bigger. It works 100% in brackets. The tips. The first one is to take L-arginine, which if you need to know about the downsides of L-arginine, go watch my Gorilla Mode or Gorilla Mode nitric videos and you can see exactly why that is the, la <laughs> the last nitric oxide precursor that you would be using if that was the goal. And I'm not going to say that increasing circulation doesn't work. Obviously using like a PD5 inhibitor or using a high dose of L-citrulline or using nitrosigine, that all helps circulation, but does it actually permanently increase size? No, it just improves erection quality which can indirectly give you a bit more size, but it's not like, if you were at 100% erect, it's not any bigger than it would have been otherwise, put it that way. He also says manscape, obviously, you know, get rid of the hair and it looks bigger, like obviously. Um, choose the proper underwear, lighter briefer trunk, okay. Tuck and lift modeling trick, it's the secret package move. Lose body fat and allow more of the bad boy out of his cage. So that's actually pretty spot on. There's something called the inner penis, which is hidden by a fat pad kind of above your pubic bone. And you'll note that if you are a fat ass, you have, <laughs> you have way more fat pad than the next guy. So there's something called bone pressed length and non bone pressed length. And bone pressed is how much length you could have if you were diced. And non bone pressed length is how much length you actually have. And you'll note if you just put a push a ruler as far into your pelvis as you can, you see exactly what you could have if you were like, really <laughs> like five six percent body fat i guess and obviously i'm not saying get that low i'm just saying the fact is is you have some amount of length that is being hidden by fat and then we have teaching men's fashion who goes over how to make your package look bigger almost a million views in less than a week in brackets and then here he basically goes over how to shave your junk essentially to make it look bigger and he says absolutely nothing about how to actually increase your size the nail in the coffin for this for me though was <laughs> Johnny Sins, the literal guy who is probably the most well-known male porn star in the world with a massive dank. And this guy, the jack of all trades, you know, the astronaut, the doctor, the personal trainer, <laughs> the fucking everything. And this guy who is literally in this industry for years, if anybody is an expert, you would think it'd be him. And when asked, how to get a bigger D, this is what his response was. So many guys I see asking you, how can you make your dick bigger? What's the answer? Uh, that's the most, the question I get asked all the time. The answer is you can't. So to me, the fact that Johnny Sins himself doesn't even know about this just shows how obscure this shit is because it is definitely legitimate or else I would, I, I dedicated several years of my life to doing this on and off back in the day too and it actually does work. I've discussed it briefly on my podcast with Chris. Um, I don't think it's a coincidence that on the podcast clips channel, the two most popular clips are about PE. One of them is about how much size you can expect to gain using the bath made alone for it, which is one of the most, the premier pumps, which I'm gonna get into in a sec. I'm just gonna insert this clip here for your reference. That's the best thing for length. This guy actually just said, how much can I expect to gain if I use only the bath mate? Um, well, if you're new to PE and check out Derek's bathmate page, if you're new to PE, I would say, um, within six months, you can gain a half inch. Um, and then girth on that, you can gain when it's all said and done, if you use it every day for like, you know, for like a couple years or something, you could gain an inch or more and yeah. then girth, you can gain like a decent oh, amount or yeah. almost an inch and a half. Yeah. yeah. Like quick too, like pretty damn quick because yeah. it's like. So in that we talk about how much you can expect to gain from just using the bath mate alone. I'll get into what the bath mate is as soon as I kind of like conclude this introduction to this stuff. But um, also the most intense thing you can do for length is something called hanging and I don't recommend it. But um, me and Chris <laughs> discussed it and it was, it was actually pretty funny. I never did it myself because um, it is probably the most, probably, I don't know for sure, but it's arguably the most dangerous, but also the highest risk to highest reward um, length exercise you can do. And it's basically just <laughs> progressive overload with weights hanging from you. And I somebody asked a question on, uh, we basically, 
opened up a thread to allow people to ask questions that we cover on the podcast and it was asked about it. And Chris kind of discussed his experience with it. Any experience, thoughts slash experiences with hanging? I never did it, even though I've heard it work really well for people. Like I've heard it's like dangerous if you're like way too, like if you don't go really careful about it, but. I got up to, I think about like 25, like the 25 pound plate. Oh, you actually did it? Yeah, I did it for a while. And then um, I would say, now again, this is like, this is before like, GLL and all that kind of stuff. So the hanging mm-hmm. thing was like this weird, this like weird thing, and it had like teeth on it. I take it, take it off. My dick's all like <laughs> all deformed and stuff. I'm just like, I'm like, it can't be good. Yeah, you know. Okay, so uh, that's, that's a funny fucking clip. Um, so pretty much like what actually works. So Connor talking about the traction device. That is something that works, but it's primarily for length and. This is something I never even thought I would <laughs> end up talking about again, but I actually published some articles on this back in like 2016 when I first started my blog. And a lot of you guys have probably seen my, uh, you know, my statements about how the channel was originally supposed to be like 50% like lifestyle stuff and 50% like bodybuilding, pharmacology and whatnot. And it's sort of like deviated significantly in the other direction. I kind of neglected those kind of topics about like, you know, the pickup history, the self-improvement, the hardcore stuff, some of this stuff. Um, so yeah, I just never really like got to it on this channel, but yeah, I published about it, you know, years ago and, um, the stuff that does work. So hanging obviously works extremely well, but I don't necessarily recommend it. It's like an experienced hardcore regimen and I wouldn't even do it. And, um, so the things that do work, first of all, there's stuff you can do for free before you go buy something, gel king and stretching. If you don't know what those are, I'm not going to describe exactly what they are but jelking is primarily a girth exercise. And honestly, the mechanism by which Connor explains how this works is not far off. It's pretty accurate actually. So basically it's like the more you, like I, everyone thinks because the D is not a muscle that you can't induce hypertrophy in it. And it's like the mechanism by which you increase its size isn't the same as fascial stretching of a muscle kind of thing. Like it's hard to explain, but and frankly, it's a bit outside my wheelhouse because it's been a year since I've even looked at this stuff. But Connor's pretty spot on. And basically, the more you you know stretch it, the more you either in girth or lengthwise, the more it's gonna eventually adapt. Just like those, you know, the people with the super long necks, the super long ears, the whatever. Um, you just have to make sure you don't damage it in the process and prevent yourself from being <laughs> able to fucking use it still. So manual exercises are the free thing you can do that actually work you can get like a full inch out of that if you did it pretty consistently the problem is it's very time consuming it's like doing a whole nother workout and you have to do it you know several days per week so it's like not only do you have your gym workout but then you also have your home workout too which is uh, a nuisance to be honest and is largely why i stopped uh doing it back in the day and this was like a huge deja vu seeing this video, to be honest, because I totally forgot about tons of this stuff to the point that like I've had some of this stuff sitting in my house for years that the company sent me that I wanted to get, you know, go more hardcore into. But I just never got around to it because I got caught up in business, caught up in life. And I just t- totally, you know, totally blanked out of my mind, to be honest. And I have I didn't even remember I had this shit until Connor brought it up. But I'll get into the devices that actually work after um but the free stuff manual stretching self-explanatory about what stretching is um if you want to see how to do it i would recommend you check out uh goodlookingloser.com um the stretching guides on there as well as jelking jelking is primarily a girth exercise and um to be honest you can do get a decent amount of results with no devices or pumps at all but the devices help a lot and they can like triple your results to be honest like a very conservative statistic i would say is um you can expect to naturally gain one to two inches in length and 0.5 to 1.5 inches in girth if you're you know doing this fairly moderately doing like the full gambit of everything you can be doing not including hanging though um and most guys who take the exercises fairly serious for 12 to 18 months can gain one to 1.5 inches regardless of starting size. I'm basically just reading off my article right now, by the way, this is the thing I wrote back in the day. I'm sort of refreshing my memory as I go through here. So about 0.05 to 0.1 inches a month and those who go the extra mile can gain 
one and a half to two inches. All like the, you know, the claims that you see in marketing stuff, gain four inches on your D in, uh, in four weeks. Um, it's not realistic, it's impossible. Pills don't really work, like I said. However, if you are backfilling that like, the ENOS pathway and spiking nitric oxide levels with things like L-citrulline, nitrosagine, like I said, PDE5 inhibitors, obviously, um, those help quality, but it doesn't really increase like actual permanent tissue size, which obviously we're mainly concerned with here. So just like working out too, you get newbie gain. So it's like the most results come in the first, you know, like three to six months and it's sort of diminishing returns thereafter, but it's pretty consistent for pro probably the same time frame, like two to three years if you're going ham and then you kind of like plateau out. And then after maintaining is not the hardest thing. You just have to stick with it. Like you'll probably lose like at least 50% of what you gained if you totally stop and you don't do anything to like even a maintenance routine of like once or twice a week. But basically what you need to know as far as the free stuff, jelking, girth and length exercise, um, it's largely considered a girth exercise, but it helps with length um, until you gain your first inch and jelking alone is can easily net you an inch if you're very consistent and stretching. It's a solely a length exercise and it is a mandatory um, component of the manual exercise if you want to gain length quickly or cross the kind of like one inch barrier. And if length is your goal, then you should be doing stretches anyways. Now, as far as what works for devices, the traction device that Connor linked, it looked like some sketchy like Chinese knockoff on eBay. And maybe it works, I don't know. But for me, the first thing I started off with was something called the size genetics. And this thing, it works, but it was very painful to use. And it was kind of like a crude, like old, <laughs> Back then we just like, this was the go-to at, at the time. This is when I was like 18 or 19 or something. And this thing worked, but it was fucking painful to use, especially for long hours. And the downside was you couldn't wear it while you sleep, which is like, if you're gonna wear something like this, the hours, the amount of hours you wear it is pretty much what determines how much results you're gonna get. The more hours, the more you're gonna get. Kind of like what Connor said, the size genetics, you couldn't wear it while you slept because you would risk basically like asphyxiating your your d um to the point that it could cause like actual permanent damage so you couldn't wear this thing at night and then this device came to my attention called the phallusan forte which is like somehow they got fda approval and it was the first fda approved extender that worked and you could actually wear at night safely and it was fda approved and i don't know if since then more devices have become fda approved but this is the one that I kind of like landed on as my, you know, conclusion of this is the best one and is what I was basically deciding to go with for my length goals as far as um, stretching and traction. And this is, I'm literally gonna pull it out. I haven't pulled this thing out in years. This is what the kit looks like when it comes in. So this is uh, all the stuff that comes in it. And these are just all the different components and whatnot. And um, obviously if you wanna see what it looks like built, you can look it up yourself. But um, this is just to show you, I'm not bullshitting you, like I've actually d used this shit back in the day. And to be honest, it sounds ridiculous. And like a lot of people are gonna say, oh, well, well, you're insecure in your dick. It's like, I think this is sort of like the Johnny Sins not knowing about this. It kind of reminds me of bodybuilders who have super good genetics and don't know shit about bodybuilding pharmacology. <laughs> it's just like, they're so genetically gifted and they do so well without having to do absolutely anything that they just, they skate by doing the bare minimum and they don't have to like dig into research. So they just kind of like, they do well and then they don't actually know anything, which is kind of insane because you would think the top guy would know the most stuff, but it just doesn't seem to be the case in practical application. So Johnny Sins is like the, I don't know, the Phil Heath of porn or something. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Phil Heath doesn't know anything. I'm just saying, I would bet that a lot of bodybuilding coaches who don't have like good genetics objectively, who help the guys who are at the top, know a lot more than the guys at the top. And this is why the guys at the top hire coaches and why guys consult with people like me to help them, you know, bring out the best in their genetics kind of thing. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, it's so off track. I don't even know how I got <laughs> talking about a bodybuilding rabbit hole. I'm talking about PE. And then there's this that came out a bit later and it basically complements the Phallusan Forte. It's called the Phallusan Plus, I believe. And this thing kind of resembles the size genetics to some extent, but this thing complements the Phallusan Forte. But the difference is you can wear the Phallusan Forte while you're sleeping 
So you can knock out like eight hours of good traction stretching at night without having to wear the thing in the day if you don't want to, which was like the thing that even made it a viable thing to me because it just wasn't feasible. I was like going to my, you know, I was working at a, a golf course and as a lifeguard at the time, I was like going on dates all the time. I was trying to go to, the, I was going to the gym all the time. I was in university. Like I just had no time to like strap this fucking thing on and walk around. So wearing it in bed is like, being able to do that is like the game changer in this. And it's FDA approved, which to be honest, I don't even know how they managed to do that while other companies couldn't, but this is like the one that I trust the most, at least based on my research to date. And I think I have some of these links in the articles, like buried from like whenever I started my blog 2016 or whatever, and I'll put them in um, the description below. They are affiliate links from like way back when I published. So if you if you click on it and you buy it, then obviously it's gonna support the channel. So I guess if you're interested in this shit, then some incentive to support the channel and grow your D at the same time. But um, this was uh, the Bathmate. So this is the first uh, pump I got. This thing is the Bathmate uh, Hydromax X30. So this is an OG of the pump. I don't know, the, it's an OG device. And this thing is, when it comes to, okay, when it comes to length, the thing that Connor mentioned, the traction device and the Falisan Forte, for example, they are almost purely length. You're not gonna get very much girth out of those which is problematic because it's not really a proportional gain you get. So if you're doing a lot of stretching and a lot of traction, like honestly, you can actually expect to get like one to two inches after going hard at it for a year and a half to two years. But your length to your girth gains proportionally are not gonna be as good as they could be if you were jelking as well as the main thing using this thing. So this thing is a pump that basically you can imagine what it does, but because it's not pulling directly and it's not making traction like with measured progressive overload, like this thing actually like the phallusan literally pulls on you with like kilograms of weight. That is how it, you know, induces its action. But this thing literally like inflates you with, I don't know how to describe it to be honest, but it's basically like, it's like the equivalent of like fascial stretching, I guess, but it just like blows the, out of it and um, it's kind of uncomfortable at first, but once you get used to it and you kind of like build your tolerance up and you kind of get used to higher pressures, you can get a ton of, this is the number one thing for girth. If you only use this though, you're not gonna get a whole lot of length and that's kind of what me and Chris talked about in that clip. Like you might get like half an inch to an inch if you just use this, but you'll get a ton of girth. And when it comes to using something before meeting up with a chick who you are going to you know what with, Doing this beforehand is like a game changer. It's like honestly the difference between you having a hog and you having an average D. So this like of all the devices, of all the things, in my opinion, this is the best bang for the buck. I don't know if Connor has tried the uh, the Bathmate or the Penimit. This is another one that I actually got. The Penimit was, uh, this was like a, a competitive brand, I guess, with Bathmate and I also got this, like I got so much stuff at the time because I was actually like taking this very seriously when I f first got into self-improvement. I got all these devices and um, some of them I haven't even opened to be honest. Like I have this Bathmate um, Hydromax Extreme sitting here and I like bought it and I never even opened it just because I kind of just completely lost interest in the process because once you, you, once you stop being insecure in it, you kind of realize that the difference between being like six and a half and like seven and a half, it's like after a while, you're just gonna be smashing into cervixes and not really, <laughs> it's almost like counterproductive at a point, you know what I mean? But with that being said, if it like makes you more secure in your head and it takes away performance anxiety, then it's worth it in my opinion. And like when you're in your early twenties, I feel like self-consciousness about size, especially when you have, you're dating new chicks and you're like, oh, I bet she's had like a eight inch dink. Like honestly, that actually crosses a lot of guys' minds in their early 20s when they're inexperienced and they don't have a high notch count. So this in itself, it's not going to, you know, make up for the fact that you don't have enough experience at yet, which you are going to get throughout your early years. If you've taken my advice from my other videos about getting the pickup phase of your life knocked out as soon as possible. But, um, on top of that, you're gonna be way less nervous going into situations because you're gonna be very confident in your you know what when it comes down to the business. 
So the Penament is also a very good device. And I would say Bathmate and Penament are probably like the two, the gold standard as far as the only pumps in the industry that I would look at seriously, to be honest. The Penament was cool though, because it was the first device that came with custom gaiters on it. So with the Bathmate and the Penament, they each have these gator things, which is essentially when you push it into yourself, you determine how much pressure you get by you push it in and then you lock it with however much pressure you want. And this gator determines essentially how much pressure you can create. And there were like, <laughs> there was like mods, custom mods that people would add to like increase the amount of pressure they could get out of these things. I had this thing called like a, what was it like a vacuum vin something? It was like, it was used to like pull wine out of wine bottles or something. And you could get, you pull out like an extra bit of air. People would literally like use this thing. Well, I did it too. You literally, I would max out this thing and then I'd stick like this fucking wine device on top of it. And then I'd like pull extra air out. It was really weird, but um, <laughs> anyway, getting off track. But um, the Penament comes with these extra gators. I haven't even opened these. This is, this is actually kind of wild for me. I haven't revisited this topic in so long. Ah, uh, man. So these are like the gators I ordered way back. And uh, as you can see, I haven't even opened them. But um, these things, basically they're different kind of pressures you can create out of them. And the way the Penament is designed is you can basically like interchange them for as you get more advanced, you can attach you know, higher pressure gators to it to get more out of it and get more gains essentially. And you have to work your way up to it though. Cause if you go to ham off the bat, you are going to permanently damage yourself. And, um, there's a lot of cases you'll find online of guys with permanently discolored or damaged D's because going too hard, too aggressively, too quickly, or just going way too aggressively with devices that were like, you know, poorly designed or something like that. And I don't, honestly, the device that Connor linked is so cheap compared to the Phallusan. Like it might be worth checking out if it actually works the same, but I, I spent a lot of money to pick up this Phallusan back. It was like, it was like 400 bucks or something, but it was like the only FDA approved one. The only one that was like, you know, safe to wear at nighttime and blah, blah, blah. So I spent the fucking shit ton of money on it at the time. And, um, I don't know if it's worth it to be honest. So you would have to be the judge of that yourself if you're gonna look into this stuff. For the pumps at least, I would definitely vouch for getting one of the higher quality like Bathmate or Penimates just cause those I have a lot more experience with. And um, those ones, like you don't want an air pump. You want something that deals with water specifically. The air ones are trash. You need something like a Hydromax or I guess the newest best one I think this is still the newest one, at least last I checked. This was the one I ordered years ago. And um, so Hydromax Extreme 7, and this one comes with like an extra pump thing on it to kind of get, I guess this is like to compete with, I don't know who came out with it first, if it was Penament or if it was Bathmate who came out with like the additional pressure options. The difference is with Penament, you have the custom gaiters, whereas with Bathmate, they actually attach like an extra crank on it. So you don't have to interchange anything. It's like built into the device. So you can like, you like max it out. And then once you've maxed it out, you have like, remember the, the vacuum VIN mod or whatever I said with the wine bottle? <laughs> it's the, the wine bottle mod is essentially built into this thing with like an actual measured hand pump that you can pull out extra pressure or cause extra pressure, I should say. So. Anyways, as far as uh, PE goes, those are the things I think hold the most merit and actually work. And I think that if you're actually serious about this, and to be honest, if this is something you're insecure about at all, it's worth pursuing because it actually works. And it's a, it's a lot of time investment and that's what steered me away from it years ago, to be honest. It was just like, it was getting to the point where I was you know starting to take business very seriously. I was kind of like, phasing out of the pickup stuff and I started to become more secure in my body, I guess. And um, I just stopped doing it, but it's worth doing for sure. If you are insecure about it at all, because like at the time, especially it would make me very confident going into sexual interactions and whatnot, because you would go in like feeling like you're, you know, the shit pretty much because you're like, okay, there's, there's no way some guy she's been with has a 6.5 girth 
You know what I mean? So, um, like the getting at like the bathmate pump beforehand is there's no comparison to of a experienced individual. Like once you get to the point where you've used this a lot, you can hold a bathmate pump for like 16 plus hours. And then you're just like chilling with this hog pretty much. And you know, kind of a ridiculous topic to be honest, but I think it's worth touching on because this is something most guys, tons of guys watching this are probably insecure about. And I was, you know, just one of those individuals when I was in my late teens, early twenties, I was like, something I thought about very often. I don't know if Connor was, uh, it sounds like Connor was pretty much the same, um, but uh, I'm surprised he overlooked one of the most effective things you could do. Like the traction device works for length, but it does almost nothing for girth in my experience. So I would, if you're gonna go the device route, like first of all, if you're gonna spend the time doing this, do the manual exercises, they actually work really well and they're free. It's just a lot of time. And then the devices, obviously the extender, like the phallusan is passive because you can just leave it on and kind of chill while you're sleeping. Um, and not worry about asphyxiating <laughs> your D while you're sleeping. So that's good. Um, but like for pure, like overall gains, mostly girth though, I think the bathmate and the pediment are like top, top notch and are absolutely worth the money. I'm glad I spent the money on them. To be honest, at the time they helped me out a lot when I was going through that phase of my life. And I'm very glad I had them to, I don't know, artificially inflate my confidence when it's like in the, at the end of the day, did it make a huge difference on my results? Like, I don't know. I think it helps retain chicks a lot better, especially if you're uh, holding rotations, if you are, you know, not trying to be locked down to one chick in a monogamous relationship. I think that this stuff actually does make a difference. Like the more, the more crutches you can give yourself, I don't even know if crutch is the right, right word, but the more assets you can give yourself that set you apart from the next guy, the better off you're going to be and the more likely you're going to be successful in your dating life. So if this is something that interests you in any capacity, um, I'll put the links in the video description below to like obviously jelking and stretching. You can just dig into that yourself. I'm not going to put a link down there to what they are. I guess if you want to check out my article, you can look at it for, you know, in newbie routines and whatnot, which is probably what I recommend you do so you don't hurt yourself because you can hurt yourself if you go way too hard at this way too quickly. Um, I linked to the newbie routines in my article from 2016, but the pump, the bathmate, the pediment and the phallus and forte, I'll link in the description below. I'm going to go dig up my old affiliate links right now. And, um, yeah, if you, I guess if you want to support the channel, you can buy them through the links and that will help uh, grow the channel and whatnot. And anything else I'm associated with video description below my uh, TRT clinic, my nootropic and pre-workout formulas, um, whatever else is down there. Like the video, subscribe, comment, helps the algorithm when you guys comment, it's much appreciated. And um, follow me on Instagram, at more plays underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. The reach on some of the platforms is not as good organically as it is on YouTube and some of these other platforms. So um, if you can diversify and kind of like follow me on the other ones, that would be very much appreciated, especially things like Facebook, for example, is like, I don't know what happened to the organic reach there, but if I don't, if I don't have a video of a guy like falling out of a tree, or like a dog, like, I don't know, riding a skateboard, it's like the, the organic or some prank where somebody is like, you know, like fake assassinating somebody or something ridiculous. The organic reach is just trash on Facebook. So any place you guys follow me, that's not just YouTube. It helps on all the platforms and growing the brand overall. And it's much appreciated when you do that. And um, Apple Podcasts, if you want to listen to the audios instead of the uh, video, you don't want to burn through your data while you're driving and whatnot, check me out on Apple Podcasts. If you drop a five-star rating there, that helps the algorithm there too, I'm pretty sure. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.